This man was so keen to come to the studio on time. He actually took a border border to come all the way. Imagine a superstar on a border border coming to the hottest breakfast show in all of Africa, Jeffing to last on a hot 96. His real name is Jean-Pierre Nimbona. Most of you know him better simply as Kidoom. Kidoom, Kidoom. Yes. Karibu sana, bro. Nikopoa. Uh, good to see you, man. Thank you. Um, I'm so happy to to be with you oh, today. I'm telling you, man. You know, you I tried so hard. <laughs> I remember when you were at yeah. the K24. Yes. You really wanted me to the bench. Correct. But uh, today, today, finally, we're together. <laughs> <laughs> Kidum, I've been trying to get you for 10 years. Oh, God. 10 years. And but look at it now. I was around. You were around. Yeah, I was still around. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, my. You know what? He, uh, guys, I got to tell you, Kidum walked into the studio and the women were melting. Seriously. Literally melting. They couldn't believe Kidum is here in the flesh and his songs are just off the charts. By the way, he has a couple of new ones. We'll be talking about them shortly. And I'm telling you, this man, if you thought he was Chini Amaji, uh uh, think again. Kidum is back and bigger than ever. In fact, Nyargero Nyargero says, that's Kidum for you. He's the man. And Raul Kevin, Mr. 254, he says, Kidum's song are on point. That's right, on point, like a decimal. Kidum, how long have you been performing? Okay, you know, I'm still around. I, I still perform like uh, I normally do. Yes. Like, you, you make me a no, you know, when I make noise here in Swahili world, yes. in Burundi and Rwanda, people complain that <laughs> umeenda chini ya maji. <laughs> <laughs> so I was busy doing things on that side. Yes. Those side of Rwanda and Burundi mm-hmm. because the language is similar. Yes. So now I'm back in Kiswahili world. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave Burundi to come here? There was war that time. It mm. was 1995. I remember I even saw you. You were yes. the MC for the first Kisima Award. That's right. In That's 1997. Right. 97. I was there. You were there? I was there. In the crowd? Yes. Did you win something then? I was here. No, no, no. Okay. I was just watching. I was in the Hot Rod Band. Yes. As uh, a drama. Uh, hot Rod. Yes. Ay, ay, ay. That's how you started here? Yeah. 1995. So, I've been around for 23 years. 23. Yes. Eek, my friend. <laughs> my friend. Yes. And from Hot Rod, you did, did you always know you could sing? Did you always sing before that? I started singing when I was 10 and uh, composing songs when I was 16. Mm. Drumming when I was 10. Wow. Drumming. Yes. On the drums. Yeah. Yeah. And understand music mostly when I was in Hot Rod Band. Mm. understand how to arrange me and uh, another guy who is in Canada, Fabian. And uh, I, I'm, in my band, I still play with the best player of Hot Rod, the mm. one who made me enter the band. He's with you? Uh, yeah, he's with me. <laughs> We've been playing with him yeah. since 1988. Is that right? <laughs> wow, wow. 30 years. 30 years. Do you still play the drums? Yeah. You do so much, yeah? so much. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but you know your songs. When you first heard your song mm-hmm. "Kidum" on the radio, yes. When you first heard it, what did you think? So you get excited when, especially when you are young, mm. and you see people love what you are doing, what you've been wanting to do for so many years. Yeah, uh, yeah. You you feel good, but more, more you swim. In this musical world, mm. more things get tougher. Yeah. It doesn't get easy. No. It, it gets tougher. So you have to push it harder, harder, harder. Especially me, the type of music I do, I do inspirational music. Mm-hmm. So I have to get inspired first to get the message, to gather all the information around me yes. in the society. Yeah. Yeah. When you played, when you first wrote Mapenzi, yes. what was that? I mean, it's such an incredible song. In fact, Wayne, <laughs> Wayne Bryan here is saying, it gives me chills. It gives me chills, he says. You know, Mapenzi was uh, my experience. I was experi- experiencing something like that. So I decided to, to cry out. Mm. But I didn't know that I was sharing the same experience with millions. So, yeah, just like that. Wow. 
and number moja number moja was a uh, i'm a christian so it was kind of kurudisha mm. mkono to the ma- almighty god yes so basically i'm a catholic but you know here when you sing gospel people expect you to be a born again mm-hmm. uh, but it it is not like that me the way i see god yes and everything i went through in my life i had to write a song about that so yeah it was another experience yeah do you get to go back to burundi often yeah so many times yeah. i'm going back again in july 12 uh-huh. i was there twice in march and what do they think of uh, kidum there what do they think <laughs> they think uh, oh, uh, that i'm a kenyan already <laughs> some, <laughs> of, <laughs> some of them they think i had a kenyan passport somewhere <laughs> <laughs> Other one they think I want to vie for political seat in Burundi in Burundi. <laughs> Other one they think yeah this guy alipotea kanunuliwa na wa Kenya so he's not one of us anymore. <laughs> they are they love it when I sing in Kirundi or Kenya Rwanda. Mm-hmm. They love it. When I, I go to Kiswahili they think they are they are losing one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Wow, nitafanya. Yes. Nitafanya kidum with JD. Hmm? Lady JD. Yes. How was that? How was it? Okay, you know the album Atrudi Nyuma was an experience mm. I was going through. Mm. Uh, I I was married and then the marriage didn't work. We separated like uh, six times. Mm. Then When we got back together I told my woman that atrudi nyuma kamwe <laughs> but when she came back akapata story that by the way when you were away umze wako alikuwa na alikuwa na story na ule mama mm mm-hmm, ule mama then i had to do nitafanya sababu na mimi nimepatikana <laughs> <laughs>